Hi, my name is Ray Pastor, and I'm going to show you how to change the color of water today. You can use this technique really to change the color of anything or enhance color. Um, but let's just take this picture on the screen here. You can use this technique for any kind of water, whether it's brown and murky, whether it's um, really bright blue, whatever you want to do to it. But let's say I've taken this photo, um, and I haven't. I got this from the internet. And uh, Let's see, I look at this wave and I think, you know, I really want to make this look a little more tropical, like it's from Hawaii or something like that. So, you know, I'm looking at the image here, and what I'd really like to do is just make the wave a little more blue. You can't enhance the color a lot. So you don't want to take a brown wave and try to make it look crystal clear blue. But what you can do is you can change the color slightly to make it look different. All right, so what I'm going to do here, I am going to, first of all, choose a color. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pick a color from this wave, and that's the color I'm going to use to enhance it. So I'm going to go to the dropper tool up here. This is just simply the eyedropper tool which selects a color. I'm going to pick I'm going to pick a nice color right in here, which is more an average color of the wave. You can see I selected the color. As I move this around, it's showing me the different shades of blue I can select, but I want to show, choose a shade that's actually in the wave. So now that I've done that, I can see my color here on the left-hand side. I'm going to double-click on it and pull up the color picker. All right, from here, what I'm going to do, this is the color I've selected. This is the color. I'm actually going to go, and I'm going to go straight up, just pick a lighter shade. But I'm on the same color scale. That's probably a little too much. So I've probably overdone it. But for this example, that's fine. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go to my pen tool, uh, yeah, I'll just choose the pencil. That's fine. You can use a brush or a pencil. And for this example, I'm going to use a huge brush just so you can see the difference really quick. And let me just actually make that a tad bit smaller so I can kind of fill in that gap. All right, I'm going to change the opacity. So the opacity can go 100%. Watch what happens when I do that. Colors over everything. So we don't want to do that. And if we go 0%, we're not going to see it. Realistically, you probably want to go to anywhere from 5 to 15%. Let's do on the higher end for this example so that you can see. I've chosen 15%. All I'm going to do is I'm going to simply now color the water. I'm keeping my mouse clicked. That way I'm not re-going over my tracks here. I'm just going to do it to this nice line right here. Don't need to do the white. And I probably need to get a smaller brush to get in right around the guy perfectly. For this example, we are not going to worry about that because I'm trying to show you this quickly so that you can do this in the blink of an eye. All right. I'm done. I've colored everything. Now, you probably don't see much of a difference right now if you're looking at this, right? That's the point. I don't want the user to be able to tell that anything's been done. Let me undo it, and you can see what it looks like. That's what the image looked like. Watch, let me zoom in more. This is what it looks like. That's my enhancement. I changed the color very slightly to give it more of a bluish tint. It looks more tropical now. Much more matches this end here. Now, look, if I hold the mouse down again, it does it again. So I could technically keep going here and making this more and more, and now this is adding another 15% on top of the 15% we've already added. So you can use this technique with a lot of different things just to ch slightly change the color of something. And there we go again. It looks a lot more blue. You can see the difference. And that's how we change the color of it. All right? Thank you.